Yeah, a little different. So I just asked Ron if he watched the Beach Boys. He didn't because he was so busy because it was opening day here for them. And Minter Airfield Museum is here. So take a look at everything they have. I know it took them five days to transport all of this stuff from the museum here to the Kern County Fairgrounds. And last time we were here, we actually had to leave early. So I'm excited to kind of see what you have. Um, let's go ahead and kind of start with uh, this guy right here because you were excited to show me this last time and I wasn't able to see it. This is a World War II survivor. It was at Pearl Harbor on Wheeler Field during the attack. It's a 1941 Clark aircraft tug. It pulled the airplanes around on Wheeler Field. It was actually on Wheeler Field during the attack. Wow. Next to it, we have a weasel, which is an amphibious uh, vehicle mm -hmm. with a Studebaker flathead engine in it. It has been completely restored by one of our members and it runs. We, pay, we put it in parades and stuff on the ground and drive it around. Really? Yes. Oh, I wish we could drive that around next time, okay? Next, next time. time okay. Next time, next <laughs> time. So next up, what about this guy? Because I know our cameraman was excited to uh, show me the size of those bullets. Yeah, that is a, a Humvee that uh, with a turret gun on it, 50 caliber, and one of our friends donated it or loaned it to us to show everybody what it looks like. And those, uh, that on top of it, those are the, uh, the those bullets? Are the shells that that oh, uses. That is huge. How big do you think that is? That, uh, it's big enough that I'd run. <laughs> yeah, I think I would definitely run too. Does this one, uh, can you drive this one around? Yes, it drives around. He takes it to different uh, events that we have for, for the museum. Nice. Okay, so next up we've got this guy. This is a 1940 Plymouth four-door sedan. Mm -hmm. It was a staff car used by the commander at, at uh, Gardner Field in Taft during World War II. Completely restored, flathead, original engine and everything. The upholstery is all done uh, like it was during the war and we drive this around. Which one is your favorite one to drive around? Just, just curious. Well, a yellow Jeep is fun. Uh, they're all fun. They're uh, all fun. They just just come out to Minter Field <laughs> and enjoy the equipment and the and the uh, uh, back in time that you can go and drive some of these pieces of equipment. Let's go show off your yellow one really quickly. I know we showed this earlier, but if you're just tuning in, this is apparently Ron's favorite one to drive around. We have our yellow Jeep. Yeah, our yellow Jeep is completely restored Jeep. Uh, we use it at different parades and things. We even uh, put the helicopter on a trailer and pull it around the racetrack at the NASCAR at the Kern County Raceway Park. And we raffle off tickets so that you can actually ride in the Jeep or the helicopter around the racetrack while they're singing the national anthem. Nice. Okay, so opening day was great for you. I have a feeling it's going to be great the entire time you're here. This is a really cool and very different thing. So you should come say hello. It's the first year you're here at the Kern County Fair. This is the first year they invited us to come. We were really excited to come and show off what Kern County has as a museum, the Minter Field Air Museum. There you have it. So stick with us. We're going to do one more tour of this area, and then we're going to hop over to uh, a little surprise that we have. But right now, back to you guys. All right, Kalina, thank you very much. Look forward to seeing some of that stuff when the sun comes up. But uh, thanks for being out there. It looks uh Pretty cool to oh, see that does. old stuff, you know, the old planes and the old tanks and all right? that stuff. Yeah, yes, a little piece of history. Now, before I forget, Kern County Fair opened yesterday and they have a lot of stuff. So when you come here, this is the first time Minter Airfield Museum will be on hand at the Kern County Fair. You'll see a little Ferris wheel. And yesterday we did duck races. We did a funnel cake. So, of course, you know, I want to throw out some history for you. So, Ron. Ron's a busy man. He has 13 grandkids, three kids of his own. He's in charge of this entire thing. It took him five days to get all of this stuff here. There's like 15 pieces here along with uh, the flags and then some other memorabilia, I would say. So tell me what I'm standing in 
right now and this is not a part of the I'm getting special treatment this morning. This is not a part of what you're going to let people actually get inside and kind of ride around in. That is correct. This is a, w a replica of a World War I Red Baron uh, Falker DR1. We also, in our gift shop here at the museum, we have replicas of this that the kids can buy this and Jeeps that they can actually purchase uh, and take home. So you were saying that this, I know some of them out there, um, I believe it's the Jeep and then one of the other, I can't see it from here, but those are the ones that can actually drive around. Now you were saying some of the uh, planes here can actually fly. Is this one of them? This is one of them that can fly, but it is uh, irreplaceable, so we don't fly it. Okay. How difficult is something like this to fly? Because this looks like it would be the most difficult. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's real difficult on landings. It doesn't doesn't want to go straight on landings once you get it down. It's not made to 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 sit on the ground. It's made to fly. Okay. So let's get kids excited about coming because I know you were saying kids were excited but also their parents were excited. Were you seeing them kind of fight over getting in, in front of certain things and touching certain things? Well, I tell you, uh, when you stand there and let the, the children get into the uh, Jeep or the helicopter, you'd be surprised the adults that want in it too. <laughs> they want to take a, a picture back and show uh, at work or, or show their friends, hey, I was in a helicopter. <laughs> they want bragging rights, huh? You're the one to give it to them. I give them the bragging rights. They can they can say that they've been into a Loach helicopter, a Vietnam era helicopter. And you're here every day of the fair. So what time to what time? And if people want to come meet you and get more information on Minter Airfield, you'll be here. We'll be here every open hour of the day that the fair is open. Uh, it opens at different hours uh, and uh, stays their length of the day is different every day, so we're here every day that they're open. Perfect. You can just go to the website and find out more information. Thank you so much, Ron. I'm going to wait to get out of this because I think I might do some type of nosedive into don't the grass. Shoot, don't shoot the guns. Don't shoot the guns. Where, where are right those Right there. Oh, I see them. Oh, wow. Okay, so we're going to have more uh, from the Kern County Fair when we come right back. Right now, though, back to you guys. Thanks, Ron. Okay. <laughs> All right, Kalina. Thank you.